Hey everyone, it's Joe, aka The Trash Bandit, and today we are going to be going over what we sold today in our eBay store, what we thrifted today at Goodwill, and then also in today's episode we are going to unbox our Goodwill Blue Box. We got a jeans blue box for a total of $19.99 plus $5 shipping, so we got $25 into this uh, blue box, and it's actually this box right here. And we should be able to get 10 to 13 pairs of jeans out of it. And we'll kind of go through them and show you what we got. I have not, I, have, I peeked in, but I did not look at any of the jeans yet. We're going to open it up and see what we got. Okay, so let's get our thrifting from Goodwill out of the way first. The only thing I picked up today is this VCR. It's a Panasonic and the model number is PV-9455S. There you can take a look at it. And I paid $4.99 for that. There is no remote and it doesn't have great comps but there wasn't really anything today at Goodwill. There was a really, I think, one of the worst days I've had. And I probably, normally on a regular day, I might not have picked this up. But I, I did pick it up because I didn't want to leave empty handed. And I can make profit on this from $5, even though it's not a great profitable item. If it would be a DVD VHS combo, it would have been a lot better. But I'll take what I can get. So hopefully tomorrow, uh, thrifting is better. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through this blue box and see what we ended up with. $19.99, $5 shipping, total of $24.99. Says 10 to 12 pairs of jeans is what they have down there. So let's see what we got. Okay, our first pair of jeans is not a pair of jeans, it's actually a vest. Uh, so that's interesting. So what does this say on it? It says, I think it says Andigo Rain. I think it's A-N-D-I-G-O-R-E-I-N. It's a medium. It's pretty interesting. We'll have to look that up and see uh, what kind of value that has. I'll show you the tag there. Oh. I like this already. BB Jeans Company. And this is a size one. So whenever I see stuff like this on the pockets, that's kind of a good sign. I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not familiar with jeans, so I'm gonna be looking these up and putting the information on the screen of what they may be worth. So these are in, as far as I'm concerned, these are in good, good shape. Uh, they are small, you know, size one, but Pretty cool. Okay, so we got two items out of there so far. Oh wow, this is looking good too. Wallflower. Okay, so they got some uh, patterns on the back. And then wallflower right there. And overall, they're in pretty good shape. They're a little bit of wearing, a little bit of wearing on the bottom down here. Let's see what size these are. These are Wallflower Authentic Denim. And here is the tag. Let's see what we got. Size 15. So we'll look those up then and see what we can get for those. Okay, three pairs. All right, next up is a pair of Levi's. And there are 711 skinny, size 30. 711, size 30, skinny. They got some distress here, which is, I think, meant to be that way, and down here. And then, of course, a little bit at the bottom as well. 
I'll just count these up at the end and see how many we have. I'm not going to keep track. Another pair of Levi's. And this one is a 711 skinny, size 30. Very similar, I think, to the last pair. Okay, we've got a pair of denim shorts, Tommy Hilfiger. So that's a pair of Tommy Hilfiger shorts. They got the Tommy logo on the back. And then Tommy inside. And these are size 34. Okay, this is interesting. This looks like a jacket, uh, new with tags actually, maybe. Uh, can they hold it up here first? You can see that. All right, so what do we got here? We have a black denim, and it says, fashion, the art of cowboy guaranteed, highest quality fashion wear collection. And on this tag, it says, hmm, day hype, large, unrivaled streetwear, dayhype.com. So we'll show you that, and that. And then I'll show you the logo that is on there. And that's in really nice shape. I don't know anything about that, but we will look up and do some research. All right, the next item, the classic pull-on jeans. This is actually from Kohl's, it says, and this is Petite's, uh, let's see, $36 price tag on it. Uh, does not look like it's been opened. So I'll do some research on that and see what that is. Uh, so it's probably one of those soft denim pullover, pull one jean type pairs of pants, I guess, for ladies. I'm not very versed in that. Okay, got another pair of jeans here. A pair of Calvin Kleins. Size 14. And these are boot cut. Okay. Calvin Klein boot cut, size 14. All right, this is our last pair. And these are DKNY. And um, it says DKNY Soho Jean. Size, hmm, that's really hard to read. I think it says six. I'm not going to be able to read that. I'm going to have to look, see if it's on the tag somewhere else. It's a cut $17.99. They look in pretty good shape as well. Um, and then I'll show you the, here's the DKNY, and then this is the size tag, and it's really small, maybe, I can't tell if you're going to be able to make that out or not. If I can get the, everything's backwards in the camera. So I'll have to look that up maybe with a magnifying glass, see what size that is. Couldn't tell what that was. All right, so let's do a quick count here. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we got eight pairs of jeans, no, seven pairs of jeans, one pair of shorts, and two jackets, one vest, one jacket. So um, that's what we got for 25 bucks. So I think that's pretty good. I mean, I don't think, it, I think, I think we'll make our money back on that. I don't see how we couldn't, but uh, we'll definitely need to do some research. Uh, I'll put some stuff up on the screen as we go to see, see how I think we're going to do, uh, you know, based on recent cops, comps, based on recent comps on eBay. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, blue box, Goodwill blue box unboxing. If you did, let me know down in the comments. Maybe what we'll do is we'll pick up a vintage t-shirt lot or some sort of vintage lot or something next. The vintage lots I think are $49.99 uh, plus $5 shipping. Um, so there's a lot of different options. Maybe if I, you know, I just have to make sure I get on there when they have them in stock. These are in stock almost all the time, I think. The vintage stuff is not. It's hard, harder to, sorry about that. It's harder, those are harder to come by. You have to get, get on, I think, Friday to, to purchase them. And um, so, yeah, so that was pretty cool. I think that's something different. And um, let's go ahead and look at what sales we have now as far as what, what we sold uh, yesterday uh, or well, over the Saturday, Sunday. It was shipped out um, this morning. Okay, so Saturday, um, we had about $125. Uh, in sales and gross sales and then uh, Sunday we had about 77 so I say it's close to about $200 and that is all combined from let me just take a look here one two three four five six seven eight eight sales so let's go ahead and look at the eight items that sold over the weekend uh, except for there was a few that sold Saturday morning I believe that we shipped out um, as early Saturday morning but anyways so let's just go over these eight items um, the first thing that sold was a Simply Fit board, uh, the blue one. It was the one that it was the board only, and it's also the one that was used already. So that that brought an offer, and, and that came in as an offer. I accepted sixteen dollars and eighty cents on that. So the total purchase price all in for the buyer was twenty eight oh nine. Then we sold a Tommy Hide and Squeak eggs. Uh, the version that we had was new in the box, but it was a rare version. It was one that's a little bit different than the normal version that is out there on eBay. So there's only a few of these that, are, that I see out there that were like the one that I found at Goodwill. And I think we paid like uh, a few dollars for that at Goodwill. I think it might have been like $3.99 or $4.99, something like that. And uh, the buyer was all in it. I'm sorry, the buyer paid $29.99 and they're all in at $40.34 with shipping. We finally sold some more of that Thomas the Train Track, Wooden Track um, adapters. We only have three. We only had three lots left. Now we have got two lots left. Uh, we've been piecing that out forever, but we've made a ton of money on that uh, wooden train track uh, bin that we bought at Goodwill. I think for like five or ten bucks, and we've been. I mean, we made hundreds off of it. So we got ten dollars on that, and the buyer's all in at thirteen ninety eight. We sold the Let's Rock Elmo uh, light up piano keyboard. And that was sold for $14.20 plus shipping, so a total of $25.94. That I'm pretty sure I paid $0.99 cents for at Goodwill. Then we sold the um, Guess Who Travel Edition from 1989. Uh, it's listed as an uncommon edition. You don't see it too often, but we, we, we did get $12 for it, so it wasn't a whole lot. We paid $1.99 or $0.99, cents, something like that at Goodwill. Total buyer was all in at $17.25. We sold an 80 CD laser line storage carousel that spins, and uh, that we got a Goodwill for a few dollars as well, and we got $14 for that. Uh, buyer was all in at $36.70. We picked up those Little Mermaid aerial characters purses, and I think I remember saying I paid too much for them at $4.99 each, I believe. So I have five dollars into that little uh, clutch wallet, and uh, we sold it for $19.99 plus. Uh, I'm sorry, $19.99 free shipping, and that did go out first class, so I think it cost like $3 and some change to ship. So we still did, did okay with that, even with the $5 uh, buy-in on that when we bought it. And then the final item that we sold was, uh, we sold one of our vintage 1981 Mastermind Codebreaker board games. 
I uh, sold it for $8.99. Buyer was all in at $20.55. So that's everything that we sold uh, on eBay this weekend. And I'll put as I went through all that, of course, I'll put it up on the screen so you can you saw the pictures, uh, so you can identify the items. And I hope you enjoyed uh, this edition. We did once again. We just did the uh, what sold. We did what we thrifted today, and then also the new segment was the uh, blue box, uh, Goodwill blue box. So with the jeans, I hope you like that. If you did, make sure you let me know, and we will go ahead and. Uh, do another blue box in the future if you guys uh, like that uh, and then what I'm gonna do is get all those jeans listed on eBay and uh, see how we do with that then and maybe I'll do a follow-up video uh, or you'll of course just see them selling in my what sold videos that we're doing so um, we'll mention it uh, as we're going through that so I appreciate you guys watching if you like this content make sure that you're um, subscribed to the channel if you're and uh, also hit the bell for notifications if you're not already and then go ahead and uh, hit the like button for us. So we appreciate that. And anything that you can do with, with comments, if you have questions, you just want to comment on the Goodwill Blue Box, uh, whatever you have there, just go ahead and leave it in the comment section. And we'll uh, see that and address it uh, when, we, when we see it. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.